what okay but anyway we'll move on here so we'll just to sort of use those identities as as given there okay now so let's go down below so probability uh yeah so essentially this is consistent now with both x and y being acceptance okay so it's just got a little bit off track there the probability of x equals 0 0.7 therefore the probability of rejection by company of x is p x complement of x is 0 0.3 and likewise p y which is now acceptance Therefore, the probability of rejection by company Y is probability of complement of Y equals 0 0.5, okay? And we are told that the probability of the, what are we told again there? What's that 0 0.6 about? Let's remind ourselves, okay? The probability of at least one of their applications being rejected is 0 0.6, okay? At least one, okay? So how do we write that? at least one of their applications being rejected so it's one or the other or both okay there we go so that is how we would write that there at least one of their applications x complement of x union the complement of y okay and we're told that the probability of that is 0 0.6 okay now using those identities that we worked on earlier a uh, quick pause to actually just correct that. That should say the probability of X intersection Y. The complement of that. That is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. So I have a union there. But actually I should have an intersection symbol there. Okay. So we're back on track there. So that's using those identities that I've used previously. Okay. Now that means... Uh, that the complement of the intersection of x and y is 0 0.6, the probability of that. Now, constructively, that means that the probability of the intersection of x and y is 0 0.4. Okay, so we're going to use that later on. Now, this is a key formula for us. This is a, the, one of the fundamental probability rules. Probability of x union y is equal to the probability of x plus the probability of y minus the probabil probability of x intersection y, okay? And we're told, we know now that that intersection there is 0 0.4, okay? So that means the probability of the union of x and y, okay, that they get a job offer is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5. So that's x accepted by x plus accepted by y, uh, minus get you know double double counting uh removing this uh stop this being double counted minus 0 0.4 and that works out to be 0 0.8 okay now so that's the probability of getting one job okay so if we were to take that a little bit further okay what is the probability that they will be selected by one of the companies okay now we're taking that to mean at least okay so we actually there's a probability that they get accepted by both companies but if we just want to take that a little bit step further and go with one and one only that they don't get two offers we can go back to venn diagrams here so this could be x okay oh that's not good let's try that again this will be y that's better so x go for y so everything inside the circle the union uh the the area inside the circle of x should be uh total 0 0.7 okay now but we know that there's 0 0.4 in here and we know that that means that means that there's 0 0.3 here and also that there's 0 0.1 here so essentially the probability of only one job offer is 0 0.4 strictly one probability of that is 0 0.4 now it's a different 0 0.4 from this it is this area here 
plus this area here. Just sort of visualizing it using a Venn diagram. Venn diagrams are great, basically, for helping you with this stuff. So we'll leave it there.